Guess just questionable judgment to say the least. You'd be an expert on doing things behind the backs of others? I beg your pardon. Well, I say I shouldn't have to drink alone. Here, have this. Happy New Year to fate. To fate? Mm. Now, will you tell me what you've been doing up here? Good God. This room is a mess. What, have you been packing? But you're not going anywhere. Hello. Do you mind? Yes, I do. What is this, some kind of party joke? What is the meaning of this? I'm leaving you, John. Leaving me? Well, this must be some sort of prank. Well, what have I done? What have you done? What haven't you done? You think I don't know that you've been screwing your tramp stenographer at work? You chose her over me. How could you even suggest such a thing, Helen? I would never. I could never. How could you even suggest such a thing? It's an absurd idea. Helen. I see. I would believe you, John. I truly would. But this, this gives me other ideas. Shall I read it out loud? Where did you get that, Helen? To my secret sweetheart. Oh, how sentimental she is. How alive you make me, my heart. I can't bear to stand the nights alone anymore, that is. Oh, that, yes. Well, that was just a prank the boys at the office played for me. <laughs> yes, a good one, too. So you never met with her? Never. Then explain that I could know that she was in this room. Just last week when I was away at my sister's. You're insane. You're making wild accusations, Helen. My secretary has never been in this house. Oh, then this uh, watch I found in the vanity must be mine. Oh, how thoughtful of you to have it inscribed, but my name isn't Maud. Oh, right, I did it. I'm sorry, it was wrong, and I know I'm sorry, Helen. But you're the one I really need. I love you, but... What you need? It's what we both need, and that's to go our separate ways. They were right about you. Goodbye, John. I'll send for the rest of my things. No. No, you wouldn't leave me. Now, with all these people downstairs, it would be social suicide. What would they say about you? The only reason it worries you is because it's about you. Get out of my way, please. Wait, wait. No, you have to say. You have to. All the money to my name. If you leave, you won't see a cent. You'll ruin us. More importantly, you'll ruin yourself. No, John. You have already ruined yourself. I'm going. Over my dead body. This is our whole life. You know it. <laughs> sit down. Such anger. You never gave me a single moment to talk. Oh, but you'll give me that moment now, won't you? You know, John, darling, you talk about my reputation too much, considering your actions.
See, you know this one. She didn't mind me. No, don't give me that look. You've always liked my singing. Huh. And I thought you always liked me, too. And I would have given you the world. My heart was in your hands, and you crushed it. Did you ever really love me? You said a lot of things, made a lot of promises, and then lies, and you cheated those promises like you cheated on me. That's why the resolution for this New Year's is to go our separate ways. We already have it, in a way. Oh, and don't be alarmed about the future. I've already taken careful steps. Let's just say the way I poison the champagne will appear to be nothing more than an accidental overdose. No doubt a mistake caused by workplace stress. That's fate.